again, Suzanne Perry here, founder of LoveShouldn'tHurt.tv. Well, today is October 20th, and hopefully you've been following along. Each day I've been delivering a video to help people understand more about domestic violence. Today's topic is the silent treatment. This one is one of the worst forms of mental abuse in human nature. The silent treatment is when the abuser intentionally ignores their partner with the intent of causing harm to their partner's well-being. It's deliberate sabotage to their partner's life and credibility. And it's one of the most harmful forms of abuse put on by an abuser who says, you're not being abused, I didn't touch you. It is abuse to ignore somebody's emotional needs and make them feel useless and worthless also causing depression and so much long-term damage that a lot of times the victim will end up self-sabotaging and hurting themselves. and this can cause long-term damage so bad that it can impact the victim's physical well-being to deliberately cause someone harm by use of the silent treatment to deny somebody of emotional care, of affection, to deny them of praise, withhold love and positive feelings, starving them of compliments and positive feedback, to regularly reject, degrade, and deny a person any emotional responsiveness, and to ignore a person's needs is mental abuse and it's also known as psychological abuse it's repetitive abuse that is aimed at controlling and diminishing another person's well-being in order to hurt punish harm or control them the silent abuser is able to switch themselves off emotionally to the pain and suffering that they're causing their significant other They'll deny the problem and even start to say that they are the victim. You stop being a victim when you become the abuser. The true victim will be rejected not only by their abuser but by friends, co-workers and colleagues. The abuser needs to feel in control and will seek constant approval from those around them and convince them that they are the true victim. And then those people will offer the abuser their advice and the abuser will feed off their pity, which will make them feel even more in control. True victims may withdraw from social activities, from hanging out, from social functions. They stop being fun and they see things in a negative light now and the abuser will feed off that and abuse them more as a means to make their victim look bad and they'll blame them for not doing anything anymore not being fun anymore not being happy anymore it's their fault the victim will fight with themselves struggling trying to figure out if they are a victim or if they really are the problem the victim may start to behave irrationally for not being able to figure it out they don't know if they're coming or going the victim's behavior can change so dramatically that they're not even recognizable anymore. While the abuser just sits back like nothing ever happened. They blatantly ignore the victim who is so obviously distressed that no normal thinking individual could sit back and watch happen. The abuser is fully aware of the situation. They're fully aware of the damage that they're causing. If the victim has an outburst in front of people, that's just ammo for the abuser. If this is happening to you, you must get out because it will only diminish your life. It's not going to get better. It will not get better. So please, confide in somebody. Know that you're not nuts. Know that you're no less special than you were before. You're just with a narcissistic type of personality who is giving you the, the silent treatment and enjoying watching you suffer. That's not love. It's not healthy. So please get out.
Thank you very much for watching. I'm Suzanne Perry, and we'll see you tomorrow.